Good evening, everyone. Joshy is back. Are oh, you excited? I am. Honestly, I am so excited. He wants to hear his song. He said he can't wait to hear his song. He's electric. <laughs> He's long hair and white boots eccentric. He does things I never expected. And he scores for the pool. <laughs> when I saw Josh Bowler, I went to the wife and I told her he did a left and a right step over. And he scores for the pool. God, Josh Bowler is back. Let's go to the comments. Let's see what we've got in at the moment. Callum Coyle says, go on Lee, King Josh is back. Absolutely, Steve Woolley says, hi, great news. Wingers sorted out now. Indeed, Ash Adam Varley is happy about that. Uh, Nobby Roberts, hello Nobby, he says, well hey, Josh will keep us up at, at last. We have an attacking, attacking player again. Yes, brilliant news. Steve Woolley says, hi Lee, hope you are all right. We might do the great escape now. And you are quite correct. We may well do it now, to be honest. It's got to have everybody buzzing. I'm sure the team are buzzing. The fans are buzzing. I'm buzzing and I hope you're buzzing too. Let's just sort a few things out here and get, uh, get that a little bit closer. So I don't have to stretch quite so far. But uh, post in the comments, uh, is this... Uh, are oh, you really happy about it? I mean, you've got to be, as Blackpool fans, you've got to be happy about this. It's just great news. Jane is having a meltdown, complete meltdown. She can't even come in. She's been crying about it. To be, <laughs> she's crying in happiness about it. Uh, WG fan says Bowler is back and just in time. Yes, he is. Callum Cora says, yes, sir. I actually say, yes, he's back. Uh, Black Plus, he fancies you when I saw Josh Bowler. I went home to the wife and I told her he did a left and a right step over and he scores for the pool. Indeed, he does. Uh, he won't be able to play against his parent club. No, he's already said in his interview that he's looking forward to pulling the shirt on. Watford away. How many fans are going to be going to Watford away? We're going. I hope you're going to. Uh, Black Plus FC fan confirms he can't play against Forest. Uh, Gurney says I thought a special show for Bowles return was a bit OTT but I've been moaning about the negativity elsewhere so why not absolutely it was it's massive news I didn't think it was going to happen but it has Sam Thompson said he's electric yes he is uh, Gurney says who cares whether he can play versus Forest no we're not bothered we're, we're not bothered about that to, to us. we're probably better off with the FA Cup to be honest it's not something that, that we need at this moment in time we've got to concentrate on the league just need a 10 match on beat and run now with Bowler back in uh, let's have a look on Facebook, see if there's any comments on there, because I know we're missing. Um, Mick Beard also says, great news, just need a midfielder and a centre-half. Couldn't agree more. Who would you like to see come in? Who who do you want? It's exciting, isn't it? There's the signings, two signings now, both, uh, are, are, to me, are, are quite exciting. Two wingers, no longer need to play um, Lavery on the wing, which would be wonderful. No need, no need to play Beasley on the wing, which will also be wonderful. Steve Huntley says, Lily told you I'd heard a strong rumour. Indeed, I'd heard a rumour weeks ago, but I just couldn't quite believe it and I couldn't say anything. I've been very tight-lipped about it, but uh, yes, uh, I was told it was a done deal quite a few weeks ago from a kind of reliable source. Adam Varley is happy about that. Now let's just go back to the latest comments here. Chris Lomas is here. Hello, Chris. He's electric, says Chris. Gurney say, go on, Lee. Absolutely. <laughs> the panel's indeed. The army there. Me and Josh. Met him already. Uh, WNG fan says, Bowler will be a special guest at the VIP lounge on Saturday. Yes, and they're selling tickets for it already. It's already on there. Get your ticket seats in there for £60 a pop or something, isn't it? Um, was Dujon Sterling really injury prone at Blackpool? I don't know, Tom. I don't know. The true red is here. Should have happened in the first place. Straight loan back or leave him alone because no way he's going to fit in in our squad of players. Exactly. I don't know why, you know, we all know what we thought about Forrest. We're a little bit more, you know, we're not quite as hating Forrest as we were a couple of weeks ago because they've actually let, let him have us back, which is which is great news, isn't it? It's just great news. So, uh, mean baggy Forrest are not quite as mean baggy as they were. Um... Tom Worthy. Hello, Tom. He says it's a class signing, to be fair. I reckon you'll stay up now. Uh, Football Fan 10 says staying up for sure. David Coleman says just hope he's match fit. I'm sure it won't. I'm sure he's been out there training. Uh, Clocko says hope you're on the door preview show. Yes, I am tomorrow night. Check it out. Standing up to the mean, mean vloggers at Forest tomorrow. 
Uh, yes, it should be good fun. So definitely, I'm on two uh, Forest shows tomorrow night. So um, yeah, watch out for fireworks. Finley McCall- McCallman says this signing will save our season. We will stay up. Uh, Blackpool FC fans says I bet Jay made a few calls to get a bowler back well she told him didn't she she had him you know she was in this uh, sponsors lounge she was talking to him telling him how much she loved him and didn't want him to go so he's obviously seeing the videos and see how, how upset she was and he's back he's back uh, Sharon Holt says honestly believe that this will lift the boys now and keep us up so do I great post I totally agree uh, Tom where this is Corbinu Pervader, well, Corbin, who's gone back, hasn't he, Tom? I thought I thought he's gone back. So, Pervader's, Rogers, and obviously Bowler would be uh, great. But, but I think Corbin, who's gone back, I thought he had. Uh, sometimes it's worked out well in the end. We get the rest of the season to enjoy him after all. Yeah, and he's going to come back. And, you know, the good thing about Bowler is, he, you know, he, he carries quite a few men around him. You can't leave him alone. So, he's normally kind of marked out the game, which frees everybody up in the team. And that is great news. Uh, Cheddar says buzzing is back plus Morgan Rogers looked decent and played under Appleton could be a step in the right direction yeah I'm excited about it wingers on the wing uh, David Coleman says I hope the club reintroduces him to the crowd at Bloomers yeah and for the Forest game absolutely uh, Peter Donnelly good evening Peter he says evening Lee just need a centre half and a centre mid now indeed Crazy football vlogs is here. If you're not subscribed to him yet, make sure you do. Blackpool vlogger uh, called Bailey. A great news. He's back. He's come back to make us stay up. Let's the get. Let's get the chant going. Well, he said he's been he's been missing the chant, so that's great news, isn't it? Uh, Chris Loma says I'm very, very, very happy man. Really excited for Watford. Well, we'll see you there. If you go into Watford, Jane and I will be there. Gaming Wales says, how many goals will Bowler score in the remainder of the season? God only knows, but it's exciting. If he could get what, 10, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? But it's just the way the team play with Bowler in. It's going to make everything so much excited. It's exciting. We still do need a, a ball-winning strong midfielder for me and a centre-half to replace Keo. Absolutely. Uh, WG fan says, hey Lee, are you heading to Watford next week? Yes, I am. Adrian Morley says, uh, go he says, get up Lee, mush, go on fella. Josh will keep us up. Oi, time for that lid snip again. Our oh, kid. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> get me air cut. Uh, the True Red says, signing him on deadline day. I, I watched watching Jake and he didn't want Bowler to come our way. Yeah. Yeah. No, we didn't want Bowler to go your way. We, we need to keep him. Uh, the edgy one says Corbin is going to Ipswich on loan, I believe. Yes, he's he's gone from us. Uh, Mark Porter says, Hi Lee, I made up Bowler is back. I have hope now that we have a chance to stay up. David Coleman's just confirmed Corbin to Ipswich. Uh, yep, he has. He's gone back to Wolves. Absolutely. Good. Gary Cronshaw says, Hello Lee, Charles and Jane. Happy ja Jane. She'll be very happy. Yes, Josh Bowler's back from. Absolutely, she is. Um, WG fan says then I'll try looking for you I'll have to leave early okay well we'll see you there if you're there going back to Facebook um, Luke Burrows I don't, I don't know what that actually means I don't know what those signs mean um, Gareth Gerrard says awesome news on Bowler and Morgan Rogers, but would love an experienced centre half and midfielder I think I think the board know that's what we want I hope that's going to come in oh yes of course it's electricity <laughs> yes of course he's electric so great yeah yeah I get that now um, yeah Gareth I think that um, you know the board know uh, that those are the two positions that we really need to strengthen I think if we did get a great you know a, a decent midfielder in a, a bit of experience a strong guy you know who's not injury prone who can you know break up play keep hold of the ball you know work with these young lads in midfield and we've got the attacking force that we've got now surely to God we're, <laughs> we're going to turn this around uh, Joe Phil says he's looking forward to the second part of the season. Yes, so am I, Joe. Absolutely, 100%. I'll go back to YouTube now, to the comments on there. D 
David Moss says, brilliant news. Now let's get some permanent signings in, ideally with experience in the championship. I couldn't agree with you more, David, on that one. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, Shane Benjamin says, a club uh, Matthews Lounge for Jane on Saturday to see Bowler then. Yeah. Would, <laughs> should we upgrade? <laughs> I don't know, but God. <laughs> I think she'd love that. Uh, well, I just don't think uh, Black Plus C fan that uh, we've been getting great service to our strikers and I think that's all going to change. I've said it loads of time, playing Lavery on the wing is not where you want him. You want him to be a striker as he as he proved on Saturday. And uh, yeah, I, I just think that uh, on New Year's Day and um, yeah, I think it's great that Lavery won't have to play winger anymore, which is wonderful. Kieran Baines is here. Hello, Kieran. That's highly... Uh, Ashton Coss says can't wait to see him turning defenders inside out no neither can I let's have a look at what's what's being said on Twitter at the moment let's just go to the go to the Twitter and see what they're saying on there because it's all exciting so going to uh, the video Zach Terra Zach Terra says he's electric his long hair and white boots eccentric he does things I never expected he scores for the pool. When I saw Josh Bowler, I went home to the wife and I told her, he did a left and a right step over, and he scores for the pool. Um, Kirsty Lawson, lots of hearts. Uh, Sylvia Cleaver says, Josh, it's so good to hear your positivity and that you're pleased to be back. Looking forward to seeing you at Watford. Newark on C says, cracking, now we can. Now can we please get some defenders in too? Um, Leon Smith says, well, I love how he says the position we're in. Yeah, absolutely. He's still with us, isn't he? Uh, Ollie C, and I'm going to have to censor this slightly, says, Medine says, Bowler, please come back. Appleton's playing Yates and Beasley on the wing. We need you. Bowler replies, clueless clown. I'm going to change it that C word to clown. Yeah, I'll come back. And he comes back. Uh, Steve Henry says, we never should have sold him. I suppose, you know, in, in a way, if we've got all that money for him and and we've now got him back on loan, it's, you know, it's worked out kind of okay. Would have been better if we'd have kept him. I, I know what you mean. James Stewart, somebody I know quite well, says, oh my God, Josh Bowler, I'm crying. What an interview. What a man. What a player. Love you. So excited for Watford away now. Oh my God, she's going to be like a kid in a sweet shop. This going to Watford. <laughs> She'll be a lot more smiley than she has been. Uh, Pav says, looking at his smiling face, welcome back, Josh Bowler. Absolutely. Uh, Vince Saylor says, what a star Josh Bowler 10 is. Welcome back, Josh. Uh, the Tangerine 2 says, literal goosebumps indeed. I couldn't, I've kind of, I've heard about it, but I couldn't believe it until I saw it. And I was reading on a view from the tower this morning. Somebody posted a photograph of him, apparently taking a picture of himself in Greece. And I looked on, it had Josh Bowler, his, his official Instagram account. But when I looked on his Instagram account, that 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 photo was not there. So that was fake. Uh, Maxi the, the the Cav um, says brilliant interview. The boy bleeds tangerine. Hashtag announce promotion. Uh, Matt Bowery is uh, basically is drinking. We're effing going up juice, which is great. Uh, Will says not been here the last four months. Definitely says to me he knew he made a bad decision. Yes, it's kind of well. He's he's not. You know, he must from all the adulation and being a hero to just you know, being a nobody again. It's got to be a big come down. I'm, I'm, I'm glad he's come back. John says, oh, your beauty spent most of the day feeling shit, waiting for bloods and a chest x-ray, but what a way to end the day. You beauty, the headband is getting bought tomorrow, even though I'm bald. Yeah, are they going to sell him in the club shop? That's definitely marketing, if you can sell Josh Bowler headbands, isn't it? Uh, Michelle says, great news. Tim Jenkinson uh, says, Blackpool has saved. It was strange to let go of in the first place, just for him to be sent out on loan somewhere else. Yes, it was absolutely too. Um, Cole Cole says let's hope Crappleton will play him in the right Appleton knows exactly what position to play him in he was playing him in the right position when he was here so I can't see that being a problem uh, Craig Walker says this is a massive boost for fans and players Premier League next year let's not get too carried away but if we can get safe that would be great uh, okay that's that's on that's on Twitter let's go back to the comments here Uh, Blackpool FC says Lavery just runs his legs off. Love watching him. Yes, he does, but he's not a winger. That's the thing. He's not a winger. He's a striker. And uh, Jamie McCormick says straight to the Sports Direct for a headband tomorrow. Eddie H says it's positive news. Uh, he also says, what will they have to moan about now on another view from the t from the team? <laughs> 
Indeed. What will they be moaning about? They're always moaning on there. It's the it's the moaning fest, isn't it? I I, I kind of sometimes I have to just not not go on there because it gets me down. Uh, the True Red says most of our success last season was done by Josh Bowler and Critchley management. Since they both left, it's gone down hell exactly. Uh, okay. Uh, Shane Benjamin says Sky reported that Bowler isn't in Cooper's plans and could go for the right price. Sadly interested. Well, we're not going to... Well, if we can buy him back for less than we sold him, it would be really good. Uh, you know, if they let us have him back for... A, maybe we could do some sort of deal with him if they don't want him. It, it, it seems a shame. Can of course says up the pool, my legend is back. Absolutely. Morgan Gerrard says the Tangerine Machine is back for the derby. Up the mighty pool. Cody Arkwright says, one of the only good things Appleton has done. What have the Romans done for us? It's about time he had a team that he could show us how good a manager he is. So hopefully with a few players in and a decent team and some good players to pick from and a strong bench instead of what we've had over the past you know, few months, we'll turn the season around for Appleton. I, I, I think he's a, a decent manager. He's just, he's just been dealt a very bad hand and the board didn't help him in the summer. I've said all this before. So I'm pretty sure the board know they effed it up in the summer and they're, they're, they're trying to make amends and... Um, this is very, you know, this is a statement of intent, 100%. This is biggest news we could have possibly ever had. Uh, Young's Aaron said, Hi, Lee, I've just heard from my mate that we're getting Matthew Clark from West Brom. Is this true? I don't know, Young's. It's the first I've heard of it. Uh, nobody uh, in the know has, has come, come through to me on that one. Uh, so I can't confirm that. Uh, Ian Drinner says, Hi, Lee, brilliant news. Now let's get behind Appleton, especially the team, see where it takes us. Yes, yes, let's hope that uh, this brings bums back into seats, that it, it, it lifts everybody because we have been a bit down over the last few games and the atmosphere has not been electric as it has been. But honestly, the Josh Bowler song is going to be sung all through the game, I reckon. We, it's, it's time for us to, to sing Josh Bowler's song like we never sang it before. Um, Lee BFC says, glad uh, Bowler back, but needs more than one player to save this season. We know that, and I'm sure the board know that as well. We need, we've been talking about it a lot on this on this channel, we need an experienced midfielder and we need an experienced centre-half because we haven't replaced Keo. Um, Daz, uh, Daz BFC says, let's not forget, Bowler needs Black C as much as Black C need him. Yeah, he, he needs to get back playing, doesn't he? And he needs to get back confidence and I think it'll do in the world of good and I think it's great as well that you know people are saying that there's all this discontent in the dressing room but he'll be talking to the Blackpool players all the time out there because I'm being lonely and he will know that there's not that situation at Blackpool I don't believe that at all and I also believe that you know making Gary Medine the captain was a brilliant move really because he kind of like owns the dressing room the players look up to him and you could see the way on New Year's Day that the players were playing for Gary Medine so I, I, I think that's great um uh, Black Plus C says, uh, Black Plus C fan says everywhere now has sold out of headbands. Thanks, Joshy. The club ought to get them in. Uh, it's a great, we'll all be wearing them. Even I'll wear one. Uh, Paul Shirley Not Smith says, great to have Josh back, but my thoughts on Mr. Appleton remain the same. Well, they will do. You need to see what happens, don't you? You can't uh, change your mind until you see if we start playing better football, if we start playing fantastic football and winning games. And, you know, Obviously, your opinions will change then, but they're not going to change now. Um, <laughs> I've already sang the song, Colin. I've already sang it. Nobody wants to hear me singing for any more than they need to do. Uh, Edgy One says he's heard Livermore a fair few times. Right, okay. From any sort of reliable source, I am heard that one. Um, Michael Reese says, do you think Josh will have an, an impact on us and help us get out of relegation? Yes. Uh, David Coleman says, and it's still only the first week of the window. Indeed it is, David. The True Red said, here's an inside fact for you, Lee. Steve Cooper never wanted Josh Bowler. It's a recruitment head scout and scouting team that wanted him for the future. Won't work out next season for him. Say that now. Right, well, he needs to come back then, doesn't he? Just... They've got you've got more money than Sensit Forest. Just give him us back. 
you don't need to keep him. We love him here. Uh, Kieran Bain said, it is true, Ipswich, is it true, Ipswich, Google, well, it's not a Blackpool player, it's a, a, a player that Blackpool had on loan that you're now getting on loan. And to be honest with you, he's not bad. Theo Corbin, who we, he just got injured and we didn't see enough of him. There was glimpses of him being really, really good, but the trouble was he, he, he was following the place of Josh Bowler and he was never going to be, you know, as successful as Bowler. Andrew and Rachel Gurley says, my cousin got a Patino shirt at the Armfield. Fantastic news. Brown or Junior says, it's a good start to the window. Got a bit more faith now. Uh, yeah. Edgy one's told to Corb uh, Kieran Baines that Corbin who's coming. Yeah. Uh, Young's Aaron says, I've announced promotion up the mighty pool. I've got my old bowler shirt on and black headband. Good for you. Let's go back to Facebook and see what um, what we've got on there. Right, okay. Joe Phil says, great show as always, Lee Charles. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Josie Smith says, Callum Wright was a weird one, getting him at the 11th hour panic buying. Yes, it was. It didn't really work out, did it? He didn't, he didn't look good enough. Um, Harry Wake. Hello, Harry. Do you think he'll be 100% fit? He will give 100% effort? Will he give 100 Yes, yes, and yes, Harry. I do. I do think he'll be fit. I do think he'll give 100% effort. Um, why is there going to be upset in the dressing room? You know what? You only hear negative. <laughs> Anything negative. <laughs> yeah. There'll be no upset in the dressing room. Everybody wants him back. They'll be buzzing in. Have you not seen Shane Laver 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 Lavery's tree? The, the tweet. They're over the moon. Uh, George Weiss, great news, Lee. Happy New Year to you and Jane. Um... Gareth Gerrard says, just a thought, Lee, regarding Saturday's FA Cup game. Got three tickets today, but to maximise gate money, would it have made more sense to give Forest both the East and South Sounds? Phil North and West Pill fans, and what an atmosphere it could create. No, not for me, not for me. Don't don't give away fans any more than they need. Uh, I, 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 I wouldn't. I honestly wouldn't. Uh, Thomas Pawson says, highly just seen this great news. Yes, it is amazing news. And it's hopefully the start of, of more players to come. More players coming in. Uh, but yes, there are other players I think we need. And um, and those are a midfielder and a, you know, and a, a and an experienced centre half, you know, that's all we need to to steady Marvin Epiteta down, and the you know the boys down there. We've got a new right back coming in, which sounds exciting. So you know, it's all it's all up and up and up. Uh, Shane Benjamin says agree on DMF and defensive midfielder and centre back, but some of the issues I think relate to our attacking last tackles to protect one nil is because defence don't have faith in the attack. Well, they don't, but we're sorting out the attack, aren't we? That's what we're doing. We just brought in two, atta two attack-minded wingers. So, And f for me, Josh Bowler, one of the best players in the championship. He is electric, and I love him. Popular C fan also says, let's not forget Rome wasn't built in a day. Now Bowler is back, get behind the lads and fight to save ourselves this season. Well, we weren't far off, were we, really? Against Sunderland, I didn't think. First half, he looked a great side. I know second half, it wasn't quite as good. But um, I just think, you know, with more options, it's going to be easier. Oh, WA Productions, hello, says, oi, hello, oh, WA Productions. Yes, we did get the kid from City, Rogers. We have been mentioning that, Callum. Um, Angel on... Andrew, Andrew and Rachel Gurley wants us to sign Messi. Luca AFC is here. He's um, an Arsenal um, vlogger uh, you can follow. Luca AFC. Uh, he's also Milton Keen Dons as well. He does a bit of work on them. He's a great channel. Good friend of my channel. Subscribe to me if you haven't yet subscribed to him. Uh, True Red says, having one player back could just turn the atmosphere in the stadium like that which sprinkles down off the players, the pitch which affects performance, causes the feel-good factor that fans are creating. I'm hoping that is going to be the case. I'm hoping that everybody is going to be buzzing. I'm hoping everybody's going to be, uh, you know, really happy. And, uh, yeah, I, hope, I, I just hope we're all as excited as, as I am because I am absolutely, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop at the moment. I'm so excited. And thank you, Luca. Great video. Thank you very much. Uh, would you give Josh the captain armband? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I don't, wow. No, that that would upset the dressing room. I, I think he's just there to help. I, I think giving Medine the captain's armband was the thing, really, because he is, he is clearly the leader of the dressing room. He's the one that the other players would probably, 
you know, follow in battle, and that's what you want. You want a leader of men out there. And I, I think Medine is a leader out of men. Of men, so I'm I'm, I'm happy with Medine doing what he's doing. For me, I'm happy with Medine. On Facebook, uh, Paul Barrow. Hello, Paul. Says, great that he's back, albeit temporarily, but we need a take-no-prisoners midfield general now and we will be okay. Yeah, and an experienced centre-half for me, Paul. I, th I think we need those those two spaces filling and let's hope they do. We've got a new, obviously, a right-back coming in, this lad from Ireland, so, you know, it's it's exciting. It's exciting times. Uh, Lee BFC says, I feel so much more happy. Uh, I feel so much more happy than I have about BFC for a while. Onwards and upwards with bollocks on the end. <laughs> yeah. Adam Davies says, highly do I think Blackburn will sign anyone in the transfer window? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't see why they wouldn't uh, if, if they're trying to get for promotion, but. I don't know if they will. I don't know very much about Blackburn Rovers, to be honest. Uh, Nicola Edwards says, up the mighty pool. Um, True Red says, Saturday's irrelevant to me. Can have the win now and progress through. Yeah, it's funny. When you're in the Premier League, the FA Cup becomes less important uh, because you can't, even if you won the FA Cup, you don't get as much money as you do for staying in the Premier League. So your attention as a club when you're in the Premier League on the FA Cup is, yeah, OK, nice if you get through. But it, it can create a back, you know, sort of extra features that you don't need, injuries that can be got in FA Cup games that you don't need. And uh, it is a distraction. And, and even for us, you know, for the same reason, if... If we lose this FA Cup game, I'm not going to be devastated about it because the main priority for Blackpool Football Club at this moment in time is survival in the championship. It's just so important. And I would not be bothered if we went out of the FA Cup. I always want to do well in the FA Cup. We never do well in the FA Cup. But this season, the way we are, the position we are, the league is definitely more important. And as I say, concentrate on the league. And I'm not bothered. It would be a bonus to beat Forest. It would be lovely. I don't really think we will, to be honest. I think they'd be too good for us. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not too bothered about the FA Cup. And, and I normally am pretty bothered about the FA Cup, but I'm, I'm more worried about relegation. Uh, Luca's watching Chelsea. Great stuff. Uh, Blackpool needs signings. Well, we are. We just have. That's what this video is about, Luca. We need him. We know we need him. Uh, Ian Emson on Facebook says midfielder needed and a quality centre back to and a new manager is if possible. I wonder if any of you would like to call in. Tell me how happy you are. Should we have a? Should we uh, try a phone call? Fastest, fastest finger. Let's put the. Let's just put the uh, thing up on the screen. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, there you are. I'll put it up on there if anybody wants to call in. Uh, fastest finger in uh, if you're excited. If you've got anything, if you've got any news you've heard, anything, the number is coming on the screen. There it is. We'll t I'll, I'll, I'll take one call. Please be sensible. No idiots, please. Uh, but that's the number up there on the screen if you would like to call in to this show. And um, let's see how. Let's see if anybody's excited enough to ring in and tell me how excited you are, because I'm, I'm really excited about it all. So it's there on screen. We'll let it run through one more time so you get the number. If you want to call in, tell me where you were when you heard the news that Josh Bowler was <laughs> coming back to Blackpool. Did you believe it could possibly happen? Um, were you a bit like me where you didn't, didn't believe it could really happen, even though you've been told it was a, a, a done deal? I've, you know, I needed to see it to believe it and I wanted the official announcement and the video as well. Did you like the video? I, I think the video is fantastic. You know, they're doing a great sort of job there with the video. So there you are. If anybody wants to phone in, that is the number to call in. All right, back to the comments. Uh, Mark Brian Williams says, it's great bit of business by the pool, getting Josh back. It certainly is. It certainly is. Can 
Catherine Bain said, who would I want for Blackpool? I, I, to be honest with you, it's it, it's difficult to kind of say who you want for Blackpool because there's so many players that you would want for Blackpool, but you know we can't afford those kind of players that, that you really want. So as a Blackpool fan, I, I, I don't really speculate on who I want because it's, it's a pointless thing because they're never going to come. But they seem to find players that you've never heard of and... You know, you, you've never heard of him half the time and you've never heard of Josh Bowler. So um, I just, you know, in what they do, I trust and I hope um, that, that they repair the damage they've done in the summer with not signing the players that they needed to get. James Wright said, how many more? I hope we have a few more. Uh, who would you want, James? I just want uh, a midfielder who's strong and can drive the ball forward. Um, we probably won't get a championship well, there's no way we can get one from the championship team, so it would have to be from a lower division. I just hope it's somebody that's good enough um, to, to make the step up. Somebody who's already played in the championship would be great, and I just think we need a re replacement for Keo, who we lost as our centre-half. Those two things would... that If they get those two players in, I think we're going to be easily safe. Uh, Hollow TV is so excited. He's saying we're going to win the league. Uh, Peter Donnelly says both videos were fantastic. Yes, yes they were the... You know, the interview with him was really emotional, really, really quite emotional. Had Jane crying, of course, when I went in, she was so upset about it. Crying tears of joy, but she was crying. And, of course, the headband video is just genius, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's, it's better than Gary Medine coming out of the sea. I've, you know, I've actually read somebody say that. Uh, Jamie Day said, I would have wanted Bowler at West Brom, and if Blackpool need a striker, you can have Carl and Grant on loan. He got 18 goals last season for us, but not getting a game under Carl's Corboran. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder if we could afford his wages. That's the only thing, though, Jamie. There's no way that we could afford what West Brom are paying. You know, it's, that's that's the big problem with getting these strikers in. But, but yeah, you could have wanted Bowler, but we're the only club he could actually come to because he's already played for two clubs already and he can't go to a third club. So it, it was either stay out in Greece and do nothing or, or, or come here and get his fitness back and, you know, turn up at Forest next season, you know, as a confident player. That's if they want him. We don't. It seems like they don't even want him now. So it's all been a bit of a farce. Oh, right. We've got, well, we've got a caller coming in and it's, it's, it's Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. Is he, is he there? Oh, he's gone. Just try that one again, Michael. I don't know why it didn't accept your call. Try and ring it again, sir. It just didn't come through. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, Lee BFC says we should sign. Right, that's coming in. Hello. Can you hear me? How are you, Paul? I'm all right, sir. Michael. I don't know what happened there. Um, are Hello, you Are Hello, you happy man. about today? Are, are you happy? Oh, you, just one minute. I'll just, uh, just let us uh, turn you down. Okay. Um, yeah. Honestly, yeah, we're getting Well, to be frank and honest with you, Lee, it's a no-brainer. I know it Everyone's... is, and you, and you knew about it, didn't you? You knew about <laughs> it. I told you. I told, I told uh, <laughs> I know you. In Harry, we, in Harry, we trust. <laughs> you know, I was, I was with him in Polton the other night, mate, talking to him. Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the day, it was a no-brainer. He's got to play somewhere to keep match fit. But yes, all these snowflakes that go on AVFTT <laughs> singing Mr. Ben Mansford's praise is absolute nonsense, mate. Nonsense. I'm well, he's sorry, got, but... He's got to do hey. something, hasn't he? They, they, they will know, you know, I've said to Jane and, and we've talked about it, that they will know that they, yeah. fuck, they fucked it up in the summer. Do you know what I mean? They, of course they did. They 100%. totally did. And they have, you know, really this transfer window to to, 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 to repair the damage. And they couldn't, you know, they couldn't have signed uh, something more exciting than, than, you know, getting Josh Bowler back. It, it, it is an you know, it's fantastic that they've managed to get it through, and 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 whether we don't like him or we do like him or what, you know, whatever they've done a bad job, it's it's gonna lift everybody. It's gonna. Um, I, I was saying before that Josh Bowler attracts players round him, so they can't leave Josh Bowler alone. So he tends to attract two or three players round him, and if two or three players are going round him, it frees up other players, you know, you know, to do things, and it'll just change the whole dynamics of the team. Apple, Appleton won't have to play like Shane Lavery on the wing anymore, which is not where we want Shane Lavery to be, is it? We want him to be banging the goals in, so. 
and it's just going to give him more more options. But I don't think you know we can't stop here. There's there's all the positions that we need to fill. And uh, well, listen, I mean, that, that's, that? a br- that's a brilliant analysis. Let me explain to you about Josh Bond. Dead simple. Yeah. Again, Josh is a confidence player. Yeah. He gets the twelfth man, which is the, the North Stand. As an example, yeah. I'm not just segregating the North Stand in the in the whole of the Bloomfield Road Stadium, but they're they're the segregation in the stand. It, within the ground that get the crowd going, as you well know. They're the 12th man. Hmm. Josh is a confidence player. So that will bring the best out of Josh, is, yeah. the, is the North cool. Stand. Of course, yeah. However, in the meantime, let's let's go on about this squad. Hmm. Now, I'll, I will go through this with a fine tooth cold nail with you right. in one second, Lee. All right, okay. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, I'll just bring the squad up. Uh we're a depleted squad in my eyes. We're not a strong enough championship squad, period. Okay. All right. So And I'll, I'll run through the squad okay. with you. And All you right. can, like for like, you can tell me who is, who's in and who's out. I went through this the other the other day with uh, Harry, in Harry We Trust and the Yorkshire Seasiders. Right. Well, I'll be a lot totally more positive agreed. than Harry. <laughs> I can assure you now. <laughs> <laughs> he calls a spade a spade. He's not a bad player. I know, he does, I know he does, but I'm but 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 he's a glass half full, uh, and I'm a well, no, exactly a, like a lot I'm of fans. Right, let's let's go through. Let's let's be dead. Let's be dead. Uh, dead keep it simple here. Go on then. Right, tell me the players, and I'll tell you what I think. Grimmy, all day long over Maxwell, all day long. His position of the ball's better. He's more athletic. He'll come off his line where Grim, whereas Maxwell will stay on his line. Do you agree with that, yes or no? I like Maxi. So for me, I'm going to have Chris Maxwell for me, number one. I'm not the greatest fan of Grimmy. So we disagree on that one, okay? So I am well, Max, that's Maxwell. Great. Okay. Your own well, 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 is, uh, of course, you, you, you put of me on the spot. We don't live in Nazi Germany. No. Nope. Uh, okay, now then, you go back to your fullback. Yes. Now, Personally speaking, who would you have at left back and who would you have at right back? Well, if I had the choice, um, I'm going to be controversial here. I like Dom Thompson. I like him a lot. He's a battler. He's a fighter. I like him. He's fast. He's pacey. He's... He's a bit of a hothead, but I kind of like that, I'm afraid to say. I like players like that that play with a lot of passion. And my right back would be Jordan Gabriel, but we can't have him because he's injured. So I'm hoping, uh, and I can only hope, Michael, because I don't know, but this lad from Ireland, I like the look of him, I like the sound of him, and I just hope he's as good as... You know, as Jordan Gabriel. Well, apparently he can get forward. He could be another Alan Wright, him, to be yeah. fair. He well, Jordan get Gabriel forward. gets forward. I, I think there's a goal or two in the locker with him, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm happy with those two. For me, Dom Thompson and the lad from Ireland. Would, what's, what's he called? I can never remember his bloody name. It just goes out of my mind all the time. What, what, what he's called, this lad. I will get to know him once I start seeing him playing. But he's, he's Lions, not. Andy Lyons. Andy Lyons, yeah. So Andy Lyons, right back. For me, Dom right Thompson. Right back. And, and I, you're happy with uh, Tom at left back? Yeah, because, because I don't know. Husband, I actually think he's a better centre half at times than he is a left back. But but he can do that role, you know what I mean? And and if he's in, um, I'm okay with him in. Husband, I don't, you know, I think he's an experienced head, and I think we kind of need that sometimes. So those those two players could be off and on off the bench, if you know what I mean. One substituting the other, if you wanted to, you know, bring you know bring husband on for the last again, like for like replacement wise, we haven't got the strength in depth. Now we're going on to the centre halves now. Yes, who are you? To, who are your two pounds in the centre half positions? Thornley and Epiteta would, would, would be my one hundred percent agree with you on that one. I must admit. Right, and then once we marry the team down. We'll give a cross or a tick as to who could or could not make it at championship level within the next 12 months. Yeah. Would you, um, if we brought in, which um, just a quick question on, on this centre halves, I think mm. we miss Keo. You know, I think we've missed his experience. I do. Well, Uncle Richard were brilliant. Yes, he I, was. Yeah, so, biggest mistake the club ever made was getting rid of him. They well, should have kept him on and offered him a job with the club. He, he wanted to go, but he was homesick apparently. But, but if they got. Um, which I think is what we need, like a Keo, but like five years younger, a bit less injury prone, that kind of player. Would 
<laughs> who would you have him with? Would you have him with Epiteta or would you... You know, if, if we got a real experience, great sort of Ian Everett kind of like centre-half. Everett you know? Ever was, Ever was a legend at Bradford. Yeah, so, so if it was a player like Ian Everett, would you have Thornley in or Epiteta in? Which is your favourite one? I personally, I think I would have Epiteta personally yeah. because I think... Uh, Having a good centre half next to him will bring bring the best out of him. Exactly. And also, exactly. That's what I think. I think if Ekpateta's playing with an experienced centre half, like he was with Keo and the guys directing him, telling him what to do, and he's confident, it, you know, with his centre half, I think you'll see the best of Ekpateta. And I, th- I think that's why Ekpateta's been a bit, you know, up and down because he's had different centre half partnerships, you know, all the time. He, you know, he's not played with the same ones, and I think it's just unsettled him. The red cars have unsettled him, but an experienced head with him, Epiteta all the way. So I, I'm with you on that. We are in total agreement. Yes, 100. percent I agree. I rate him. I do rate him. I mean, he, he's done well to come from Leighton Orient. I mean, don't get me wrong; he can be a little bit uh, clumsy at times, but can't a lot of centre half. Yeah. But I, no, I rate him. He's okay. Yeah, I do. I do. Now well. we're now going to go on to the most important <laughs> part of the cog. Yes, this is at the midfield. One hundred percent in the midfield. Yeah. We've never ever play, never ever replaced King Charlie, as you know. Oh, uh, uh, his diagonals, his runs. Yes, exactly. He was an exquisite player. Yeah. Uh, well, put it this way: you and I have been watching uh, along with your father Lee over the blue, watching Blackpool play over the last forty years. Yes, yes. And if I was to give you my top three, four midfielders, I'm sure you'll agree with me. These are my top three midfielders that have played at Blackpool over the last forty years. Okay. And I got to know him on a personal level as well. Mickey Mellon, cracking bloke. Yeah. Cracking player. Yeah, he used to come and train in my gym sometimes as well. Even you know, used Yeah, to Mickey was a great... Well, he lived, he lived opposite the Shubbles there. That's yeah. where he lived. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, now, so, Mickey Mellon... Yes. We'll go, uh, we'll go on Legends of the Past, then we'll, get, we'll, then we'll put the cog in, in, into the, the main skeleton of the team in a moment or so. Yes. And then you've got the ghost, Bill Clarkson. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, little back heel. He could into, go. He yeah. was a great. He was brilliant at Blackpool. The, the postman. <laughs> yeah, the yes, postman. The, yeah, um, oh, yeah. The little, the little back heel at the South Stand. I'll never forget. Yeah, I'll never forget. He's a marvelous player. So you've got Mickey Mellon as a legend in the midfield at Blackpool. Yeah, you've got the ghost. And who's your final legend, Lee? Well, well, Charlie Adam, you just mentioned. Um, if you you've were asking, Charlie, yeah, there you three: Charlie Adam, Phil Clarkson, and Mickey Mellon. If today. you were talking to my dad. He actually, yeah. he, he he loved them both. He loved Charlie yeah. Adam. But David Vaughan was my dad's favourite because he thought that David Vaughan did all the, you know, the you know the little twists and turns and going around and spinning around. Of course, around. he was another one born. He, the unsung hero, a very quiet uh, yeah. person, but a great player. I think they were just a, a, a great three, you know, Keith Southern, uh, who a lot of people, you know, I... I Nashes. I, I yeah. used to have uh, Pete Mason used to come in the gym and he hated him. He hated... Peter, yeah, he hated, Peter. Na- he hated him. Honestly, he hated him. He never had a good word to say about him, but but he was the rocker. He was a hard. He was the hardest... Yeah, the that, hardest. Funnily enough, <laughs> he was funnily the, enough, <laughs> excuse me for interrupting <laughs> you, you got about uh, uh, Peter, yeah, Peter and I got to know Mickey very well. Yeah. He used to go in the farm as that. Yeah, on a, yeah, the, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so he was a legend. Mickey so, Mellon was a legend. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Any of those? Um, I, I actually liked uh, Nash's just just for the fact he was hard, you know. But but yeah, yeah. any of those uh, would do for me. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, the Oysters let him run his contract out. Gurney's, Gurney's actually saying, I'll, I love Clarkson, but top three in the last 40 years, my arse. Put down, actually, this is a, Michael's said a thing that he reckons Clarkson is in the top, his top three of the last 40 years. So if you've got somebody better, you can remind us that you think really was was better than uh, Clarkson. Andy Morrison was uh, pretty... Jock Morrison, yeah, Jock was another <laughs> from a fisherman's family in Plymouth. Great player. I met Jock as well in the old Andy Linnigan days. Yeah. We used to go in Brannigan's on a Wednesday yeah. night. So we were po- up on a Thursday. So, so post in the comments, folks, if you have a better midfielder than Andy Morrison, uh, Phil Clarkson... Yeah. David Vaughan. Carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. So who are you going to have now as your midfield general between now and the end of the season? Because I've got a little bit of break. Are we assuming that we're not going to sign one here, Michael? Because I'm, I'm hoping well, to get Bra- Brannigan, I'm hoping we get, from Oxford. That, that, that's the player we well, need. We've tried it, for him it's three a times. That it, it, I was speaking to my sports uh, agent friend this afternoon, and uh, 
he's had a good day by all accounts. He was buzzing and not off the bones when he did okay. tell me that there is an unnamed, undisclosed player that Blackpool allegedly were in negotiations with yesterday. He was in the building, but negotiations broke down. Nah. However, if that is to be true or not, that only knows me. Oh. All I can say that's is... That's not what we want to hear, are... Michael. That's just sack We don't want to hear that we nearly got somebody. We, we need to know the but ones that... That's, are... Unfortunately, that is all I can say. I'm telling you the God's honest truth, Lee. Bad, I wish that... Bad they, news, they folks. Got... Bad news, folks. Unfortunately, but it's... Unfortunately, yeah. It may, it may happen this. It may happen at the turn of next week. Hang on, uh, hang, hang on, hang on, here we go. Uh, Harry Wake says he's a. Uh, he says, "What about Andy Morrison?" Yes, we've said him. Uh, best midfielder Harry Wake has ever seen is Tony Green, and I've got to agree with that. Um, well, I've certainly agree. I, for, I forgot Tony. He graced the, uh, the the hallowed turf of Bloomfield Road for many a day. Yeah, yeah, nice bloke. He's still local to the. Uh, Community still has a drink. Paul Groves, is Mick Beardle, Paul Groves. Paul Groves, yeah, was with Bridget from Grimsby. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ryan Bolson, as long as it's not Luke Garber, I'm not asked who's in left back, he says. Um, yes, David Stevens is great for the fans to pull together from now on. We certainly need it. Let's all get behind the team now. Uh, yeah. Great. Carry so, on. Carry on. I also. Mark so Taylor. Who are you Mark have, Taylor. Who are you what about Mark Taylor? Oh, Sparky from Hartlepool. Oh, great player. Oh, the Blonde Bombshell. God, he was one of my the most favourite players in the world. Mark Taylor, I, 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 I used to love him. Uh, in fact, I completely Ludo, forgot about him. L- Ludo hey. Silvestre. He's the best ever Frenchman we know. Oh, what about him? Ludo. He, so... didn't, get, he didn't get on with uh, Elliot Grandin, I've been told. They had a bit of a, a, would a you put him? Would another. you put him above Phil Clarkson, Ludo Silvestre? The I best ever I like the Clarkson. I like the ghost. I liked him. <laughs> Phil, I thought he was a great player. Penny Lane is here. Hello, Penny. Good evening. We're all happy here at the moment with the news of Josh Bowler. Right. Um, oh, apparently we're now going on to the forward line now, yeah, Lee. Really... We, 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 well, let, let's let's get let's just uh, jog my memory. Who are you going to have in the anchor? The, the anchor man in midfield is, is in negotiations allegedly. Who are you going to have alongside him? Um, Who's Mister X? Yes. Well, that's the thing. I think if we have an ant- anchor man, then Charlie Patino shines, and I think you'll see more of Charlie Patino if you do get that. So, I would probably go with. Well, either the two young lads, to be honest, because I think Sonny Carey is another one that needs an experienced head by the side of him. And I think when the two young kids are together, it's not, you know, it's not great. But what what system is he going to be playing? Is he going to be going? Yeah, four, this is what I'm going to say. Four, you can't, two. You... If he, if he's going with Rodgers and Bowler, he's got to go four four two. Surely he's got to do. If he's got two yeah. wingers, he's got to be going. So we've got. It's going to be four four two, which is a, which is what I want us to see us play. Yeah, I think Black no, no, play better. It's with... changed. Read between the lines. It's going to be four four two. Yeah, so four four two. If he's going to on the, on, you can't. Well, you can, but it, it, I think it will be. He might mix and match it. I don't know, but unfortunately, yeah. I don't want him there, as you know. I think if you don't have an experienced head in, I think well then. I think you come down to then a choice if we don't get if we don't get this fantastic midfielder in. You've got Callum Connolly who who can play in midfield and it's that's his best position really, not right back. And you've also got Kenny Dougal. And to be honest with you, I think both of those players would be vying for that position. Because I think it's gonna and then you've got Pavet honestly. Michael, it's a mind blower. No, he's, he's, <laughs> no, he's a class How many act. players? He's we the don't know what to do with him. We've got Pervader in all that as well. Where does he fit in? This is the kid. No, this is the kid I'd play alongside Patino. In, 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 well, maybe he's a little bit lightweight, Patino, for that role. I'd like Anderson in there, oh, to be honest with Michael, you. Michael, Michael, I'm going to hit you now. Jamie Day on Facebook. Where's Hulan? Oh, of God, course, the magician. Michael, Mac, Wes Hulan. I could, yeah, the magician. Away. I forgot the I magician. Think, I think Wes Hulan would go in my top three as well. Thank you very much, Jamie Day, for that. So Yeah, you're right there, Jamie. Well done there, yeah, there yeah, Jamie. You, yeah, I completely you, forgot you about the, magic, the, the show. magician. You've saved the show. <laughs> 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 Where's Hulan? How can we ever yeah. forget the chip at North End for the penalty? We're never going to forget it, are we? I was in hospitality that day. They were doing a they were doing a feedback to the ground. I was in with my dad, and we were in hospitality. And of course, you know that Wes Hulan penalty was just yeah. They did a bean back, didn't they? A, you know. A, oh, it was a marvelous player. Yeah. He was still he was still producing the goals last year at uh, this season or last season. Sorry, at Cambridge. He's now at AFC Fowl, isn't he? Yeah, I think. Yeah. 
Yep, absolutely. Go on, then. Yeah, so, so, so we've well, sorted out. We've got Rogers, Rogers down the left, Bowler down the right. We've got mystery midfielder with Patino or Sonny Carey, uh, depending on how the wind blows. Or Pervader. <laughs> that Pervader's costly. Man, He's a great Michael, player. We've, we've got too many players. We've got too many players. Uh, uh, oh, Mark, anyway, it says, Michael, you're sitting on the fence. It's simple. The best solution was to sack Appleton. Oh, Harry, give him a chance with the team. Eh? He's going to do better with these players than already. We're already getting excited and we haven't got the two players in we need. So we're already getting up there, Harry. You've got to join the fun club here. It's, this is a fun stream, not a moaning stream. Uh, it is. A, it is a, I'll be frank and honest with you, though. I've got to wear my heart. My, my, my gut feeling is I'm not, I don't personally want Appleton here, even so with the players he's brought in because... He's never been a successful coach at any other team, any other club. But this is so, the time. This uh, is the time he's going to shine, Michael. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I tell you, I'm feeling well, it. Uh, I'd like, I'd like how many to, games well, are left? A 20-match unbeaten run. If we go on a 20-match unbeaten run, where will we finish? No <laughs> chance. i tell you what I mean. It, it, Tony no, Rodwell, that, 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 says Tower, Tower Power. Tony, Tony Rodwell with Dave Lancaster yeah. when he was at Lancaster University oh, in the old God. days. Yeah, I remember it, Dave Lancaster. Steve now, Lewis for me, it's still Appleton out. I'll be honest with you, it's still Apple, Appleton, Appleton out. Appleton out, right, okay. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, four, who so would you have in the two positions? Well, now then, now as you've far got as wingers, I'm concerned... Now you've got wingers feeding them. For me, it can only be two players. And they're we the... Personally, if, if those wingers don't bring the best out in Jerry, I, I, I personally, I, I honestly, I don't think Beasley's going to cut the mustard. I might be wrong. Right. I don't think he's going to cut the mustard. Gary Goals is only good for 30, 40 minutes. But it's the Dwight, it it's by a, the it's a Dwight York and Andy, uh, who were the other two ones from United. It's got to be for me, Medine and Yates. In oh, I, I totally disagree with you. Oh, totally disagree with you. Yeah, 100% with Go Gary Medine for the simple reason being he hasn't got bunch up a bag of sand. He's good at the play cons. He's got no pace. Oh, no, not for me. Big man, small man for me always. For me, I, I like a big striker and a, you know, a smaller striker. Want, want to nod him down. Nod, nod down the crosses straight into Jerry Yates. But that's... Who would you go with then? You don't want Beasley? No, Are I'm... Are going with Yates and... No, I don't. I, think pers- no, I personally think we need two new lads up top. Right, OK. Two new lads up top. That'll go down well with the club captain. He's I don't just, care what Gary just, Golsers, I'm not interested. Just I'm just taught Bowler back into coming. I'm sure it was I'm sure it was Medine on the phone to Bowler saying you No, know, well, we see, it you. wasn't Medine. It, it, it wasn't Medine at all. It was a no, he's come back to get Bitley and hopefully put himself in well, the forest. The forest aren't gonna go down with all that money to spend Lee. They're, they're, they'll it, just survive. He'll probably go to the wild, I don't think they'll go down, but it was a no brainer. Who else can he play for? Well, he couldn't. He could only play for us. That was it. Exactly. Uh, Ger- so, Gerard as regards to Gary Callahan says hello down. to you, Michael. Gerard, um, Ca- Gerard Callahan says hi, Michael Stewart Haig. He knows somebody. Oh knows. yeah, my mate Jez. I like Jez. I like Gerard. How you doing, pal? How are you enjoying the phone in? Harry Wade. Even though you're, bl- even and... though, even though he's a blue nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give. <laughs> Harry Wade says that you're living in. Benefit. Harry Wake claims I'm living in the land of the cuckoos. That's what Harry Wake says. He's not having any of this. He, he's still he's still in doom gloom over there. Uh, yeah, he, he's very much doom and gloom. Is that? Well, well I'm with a gracious respect, though, you've got to uh, don't you cap to uh, Harry Wake, the Yorkshire Seasider. Yeah, we love I've Harry on to, here. We, we love him. I've managed to forge a good relationship with Harry over he the last. Puts us in our play. He, he puts us in our place. He's one of your own. He puts us in our place. He, he, he keeps us grounded, doesn't he? Uh, Steve Hutchins says, if Jerry gets the service, he scores simple, says Steve Hutchins. Uh, Jamie Day says, Wes Hulan still got the skills at 40. I remember him at West Bromwich Albion. Didn't really get game time. And Michael Abberton, ex-baggy player, always wants him to do well. So he, he's, he, he, he wants him to do well. I, uh, I, I can't see how he... I don't know. Let's, let's see. But uh, his history goes before him at every other club. Right. So let's let's wait and see. If you look on his uh, Wikipedia, Wikipedia, he's, it doesn't stand for uh, a good read, really, does it? His records are atrocious, really. Lee. Right. So come on, let's have it right. 
Well, it is, isn't it? It is record. It's atrocious. It's you not know? been. It's not been uh, good here so far. But I don't. It hasn't been good. I, I don't, don't blame. At the end of the day, I don't hundred percent blame him, Michael. I blame the lack of transfer activity in the summer, and the injuries and everything else, and uh, everything that everything that comes from not signing players in the summer and getting the right bodies in c- seems to come back and bite you on the backside. So, well, I got... think Simon Sadler, with the greatest respect, has tried to he's tried to wriggle it, convincing Appleton to get these low knees in and thinking they're all going to turn a corner and they're going to become championship players over there. That's what's happened early. Tower, it's, Tower, it's, it's... Tower, Power, on, is, it, it, Tower Power is su- suggesting 4-5-1. Would you go with that formation? No chance. Not a prayer. No, that's just that's, that's, that's negative bad. football. You play that to pick your points up away. <laughs> At home, you pay four four two or right, four three two oh, one, whatever. I don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, um, uh, Harry Wake says that Medine. This is this is obviously. He, I think Harry is a fly in the dressing room. He, he's got to be because he, he has so much inside information on what's said in the dressing room. It's unbelievable. He says Medine oh. is only the captain because Appleton is frightened of him. Well, he's got that. To be fair, he's got a point as uh, Harry Wake there because he uh, wouldn't be frightened of anybody. He was. I tell you what, Michael Appleton wasn't scared of the entire Sheffield United team coming at him on the pitch. He he was up for fighting all of them. Was Michael Appleton? He was on that pitch. If if you knew his history, you'd know why. (laughs) (laughs) Ask the questions and tell no lies. I don't think he'd be scared of uh, Medina at all. I I think everybody's scared of Michael Appleton. He's terrifying. Uh, Mick Beardle says... (laughs) Uh, Mick Beardle (laughs) says, I'm no Appleton fan, but Michael, he did a great job at Oxford and Lincoln. He's saying to you... No, he's still got... He he, he, he didn't do anything any good with Lincoln when they played us in the playoffs, did he? I don't think they had a shot on target, did they? (laughs) Well, no, we scored one for them and they hit the they hit the crossbar, didn't they? No, he was he he, he was just beaten on the day. He, he didn't have a. They were never going to beat Black. Who can beat Blackpool at Wembley? Come on, nobody can beat us. We we are you know. Well, the play of things at Wembley, yeah. We, we're, are. We're, I mean, we're, we should have uh, beat West Ham. Of Come on, with, 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 with Wembley play. How we didn't beat West Ham, I'll never know. How they beat us, it's just unbelievable. It was just. So, uh, yeah, Tower Power is just giving you an LOL to your whole thing about 451. <laughs> right, so, four, five, no. well, you've you, no way. You, you've got Harry going, you've got everybody going. It's been brilliant, Michael, honestly, controversial. Do you agree with Michael? Uh, Phil Clarkson went down like a lead balloon. <laughs> no, I liked him. I like. He's, I tell you what, it's all right. That, that, it's all the about You're saying that he went down like a lead balloon. You don't You don't realise how many goals he scored for us. Oh, no, he was Ghosted great. in from he nowhere. Great. He, 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 the ghost, he, he was a great player, yeah. The ghost spoke I think probably, was... probably we could have extended it to a top five and included him in with Wes Houlihan, obviously. And uh... well, the magician, yeah, I completely forgot about the magician. Now he he was your stalwart legend. In fact, to be frank and honest with you, I think pervader has <laughs> got the pervader has got uh, a little bit about him, thinking he could be another magician. Seriously. If he plays anything like he did uh, yeah, in the last game, I totally he's agree. a force to be reckoned with. He he'll, is. Scare a few, he'll, he'll scare a few players in. He's got two good feet. He's quick. He, he, he can find his space. I rate him. I do, honestly. I do rate him. Uh, Harry, Wake is, a, Harry, Wake eh? is, Harry Wake is back. He says, I love your shows, Lee. I really do. But I can see things are not right in the boardroom, he says. He can see. He can see that. He, 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 he can see into the boardroom from... from um, Deepest, darkest, where is he? Um, market raisin. Market raisin. So, so market raisin. he knows that things are not right in the boardroom from is you know from from market raisin. He says carpet fitter. You're right, Michael. Uh, he looks like he's got two rolls of carpets under his arms. Hardest he gets when he's constipated. He says a very controversial post from Harry. Harry, who's obviously getting more and more frustrated with our happiness on here because I am happy. Nobody's spoiling my happiness today, Michael. I am happy about this, and I'll be even happier when we sign this midfielder. This, 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 well, this like board. I say, it, it, it's an unnamed from an undisclosed club. It, 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 it's been in the building already this week. Well, That's we've, all not, we've not agreed, have we? Uh, Gareth not Gerard agreed, nothing's is, agreed is, yet. There's the, the, the still ongoing negotiations. Right. Gareth, Gareth uh, Gerard has, um, has uh, hit us with Barry Ferguson. Would you put the crab? In? No, side pass King. Side uh, pass Barry. Uh, Ger- Ger- side Ger- pass side Barry. Pass King. Exactly. No, we're not having him. Sorry, the Gareth. The crab. He's... I'm not having that. Uh, Gerald, uh, uh, I we really a... appreciate you not being sarcastic there as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did you get that there? I don't know if you can hear that. 
Uh, one more time. Yeah, that's Barry Ferguson. No, we kicked him out. He's no good. Uh, uh, DJ Campbell, top three for Michael Reed. DJ Campbell, he, 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 yeah, he was—he he was a ghost. He, he, he was a fox in the box as well, and and, and, a, and with plenty of pace. Yeah, he was a decent player, the gold tooth. Hmm. Tower Power has come back to you on this 4-5-1, Michael. He says, uh, here's, here's what he says. He says, we haven't got two decent strikers. 4-5-1 would work with two wingers, Perveda and Patino in there with Dougal and Yates. Dougal and Yates up front. No. Dougal, don't, Dougal won't get a look in. Dougal up front? No. Or is that in front of the three? Is he talking like a diamond? He's playing in the hole. He's playing in the hole. Shape. In the hole. Behind, do you mean behind? Not quite Four, sure. five, one. You've We're got just the, from, you, the yeah. hole, as they call that, the hole, don't they? Uh, Peter Donnelly says, is it the Esteril guy? Is a question mark to, to you, Michael. Does that mean anything to you? No. <laughs> Can't say. No. Gurney says, the ghost of a Barry Ferguson. Cut him off now, Lee. He's not happy with his clocks, and it's not going down well in the... Comments, Michael. I'm afraid to say. That's why I'm now controversial because I, 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 I raised the <laughs> part of the show. You've got to be controversial. Of course we are. We got to, honestly. We've got to. We, we, we've got to have characters like you and Harry Wake. It's what it's all about. Uh, Jamie Day says, "Oh, we're coming to Blackpool. When West Brom come to Blackpool, it will be a great away day for me and my dad. I think it will. Blackpool's a great place, isn't it, Michael? We love it here, don't we? No. Oh way. yeah, you can't be the, the, the Las Vegas of the Northwest. We're on the Gold Coast. It's brilliant. I love it. Oh. I want to swap Blackpool for anywhere. Harry says Harry is gone. All um, who would it be? Um, the um, the actor. He says people can't handle the truth. What would that? Who would that be? What's the actor that was Jack Nicholson? Would it be? People can't handle the truth. They just can't handle the truth. Saying to Harry, he's it's it's Harry's truth, but we can't handle it. Um. Oh, my legend is on Ormrod. Or, well, yes, I would say, Callum, um, right now, and I'm going to put it on record on this video. I've actually said it before many times, but uh, Brett Ormrod is my favourite ever Blackpool Football Club player. He is my he is my favourite number one. After that, it would be Eamon O'Keefe. Though they are my two my like two. Heroes. Was you there that night evening? By the way, when it went to Port Vale and Eamon O'Keefe got the hat trick in the night game. Blackpool one five two. When um, I don't um, the one I if remember. You remember is, Port I, I Vale's remember the ground. One Port Vale's ground. Excuse me for interrupting you. Sorry, it's Port Vale's ground's not actually in Port Vale. Yes, no, it's no, in, it's not. It's in Burslem. Burslem, correct. It is because 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 I remember when I went with my dad uh, when, when Paul Stewart was playing there and my dad was saying I can't find Port I can't find Port Vale anywhere on the map in Stoke <laughs> and we had to and it was really uh, in the, yeah. those are days without Google um, but yeah um, yeah I would say that those are my two now two. then now then that's the name but I remember the Raymond's rocket shot you know against um, uh, who was it against. Um, God, what was in, um They're not in the league anymore, are they? The one that he scored the rocket into the south stand against. It, it just went like a rocket. Um, late winner. You talk of legends and stalwarts and, for, uh, and former forwards of uh, football club at the night. Now, there's two names that, uh, re, that come, come to light here. That's uh, Lighthouse, Big Dave Bamber. Yeah. And obviously Stewie, Paul Stewart, Grace God Go I. Yeah. All balls going well for you. Stewie at the minute. Yeah, he's had his problems uh, over the uh, over the recent months, as we all well pretty well documented. Uh, uh, yeah, Gurney says it's nice to have Phil Clarkson's dad on the show. <laughs> he's a legend, your Phil. Don't worry about that. And also, Stewie had a twenty-six goals in one season at Blackpool before he went on to uh, yes. Crofters, He went on to sign for Manchester City, if you remember. Yeah, oh, he yeah, had a checkered yeah. career at Liverpool and Tottenham he did. before originally starting his career off at Moston Boys in Manchester. <laughs> Harry Wake has told us now it it, it was it was uh, from the few good men film was the quote you can't handle the truth so yes it was um, Harry Wake says I can remember going to Port Vale they had a banner saying three points to Vale or the dog gets it do you remember it do you remember that banner at Port Vale. Three points to Vale. I remember Raymond O'Keefe getting a hatchet because he was a great player. He, he was another great forward at Blackpool. He could bang goals in for fun. And another one that, 
an unsung hero at Blackpool, Craig Madden. Yeah, oh God, yeah. And you never used to get the sort of the, you know, they didn't play him at times, did they? My dad loved him. Um, Rick Dobson says uh, we need to go for Flint from Stoke. I don't think we could afford any player that's a regular in any no, championship. No, 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 we're no. not. We're we not... all well know it's well documented that Blackpool cannot pay championship no, wages. They period. can't. So we've got to find championship quality players who are free. <laughs> Or <laughs> less than five hundred thousand, uh, <laughs> and preferably players that are championship ready, but also could play in the Premier League. Those are what we need for about somewhere between zero and five hundred thousand, which is like Charlie Adams, sort of, isn't it? That's the, he he fit that role. He was a player that was, good, you know, a, a top quality championship player who could make the step up to the Premier League for. Five, well, he went on and made the club a lot of money. If it wasn't for, for, for half, off, we would never have had Charlie for half a million. That's what we need, don't we? Half half a million. Million. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Michael. Thank you very much for an entertaining, uh, yes, an entertaining call. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. All right. Yeah. See, see, you later. Much, see, see you later. Cheers, Bye. Lee Bye. Charles TV. We just Indeed. don't forget to subscribe to the channel, the Lee <laughs> Charles TV. We trust. Thank and you. There's all, also the super chats as well. Right. Squadron. So anyone out there, remember to hit that button. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you. That's You're welcome. On. Thank you. Bye. 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 Well, there we are. That was Michael Haig. He's ruffled a few feathers and uh, he's told us that we were uh, we were signing uh, somebody and they were in uh, uh, an undisclosed midfielder, but they didn't sign. So that's that's the news there from Michael. And of course, he's he's got oh, Harry out there chomping at the bit. Uh, Harry Wake is also saying Alan Suddick, Peter Sudderby, Allcock, Tommy Hutchinson. The list goes on. Are they all within the last forty years? That was Harry. You'd be going back 40 years. You'd be going back to 1983. I don't think any of those will be playing in that 40-year period. This is, the, this is the thing, you see. You can't include people like Tony Green or Tommy Hutchinson or probably Sudderby or Suddick. You can't. You've got to go back probably 70 years if you want to. 60 years? Would it be now, 1960s? Yes, uh, Gerard Callaghan says, brilliant, Michael Stewart Haig and Lee. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, of course, Harry Wake, who uh, is keeping us all level-headed and won't let us get too excited about things that are going on. I like to get excited if things look exciting, and I think it is exciting. I think Josh Bowler coming back is very exciting. And when we're talking there, you know, and you're thinking to yourself, you've, you know, you've got this Rogers. Uh, bowler, you, you've got Perveda, you've got Patino, you've got a potential midfielder coming in, you've got Sonny Carey, who I think is going to become a great player. You know, you've got a defence that, to be honest with you, is not bad. It's got, you know, we've got this new right back. Uh, we've got, I like him, Don Thompson. I don't mind um, him being there or husband being there. Um, you know, we've already got two decent centre offs if they can stay on the pitch uh, in. In Epiteta and Thornley, but if we got an experienced heart and centre half in there, we would have, uh, I think, we'd have a lot of options. And God, you know, if some of these players do come back in that time, if some of them do make it back into the team, if Jordan Gabriel gets fit, Michael Reese says, when is Keshi back from injury? Feels like forever since he started the game. Well, he did actually, no, he, he did start a game, didn't he? He came on and then he went off after about 20 minutes. Um,. Tower Power says, "I wonder what Graham Berry would make of Appleton." Yeah, those those with big Graham would uh, would would think of him. I don't know. I mean, Graham was always quite positive, wasn't he? You know, a character that sadly missed from the South Stand. Um, uh, again, he says, "I don't know, Michael, but he comes across as a good chap who loves the mighty." Yes, indeed, he does. He he, he does love the mighty. Uh, Robert Higginson says, if somebody mentioned Tony Green, and I think Alan Suddick must be mentioned the King of Bloomfield Road. Bourne is the King of Bloomfield Road. Indeed so. Um, indeed so. But we were, uh, Michael was talking about the last 40 years, so none of those players would in, would be included in Michael's list, which is why we went with Phil Clarkson and Wes Hula and all that, because it was just the last 40 years. If we're talking about, like, Blackpool legends, you could go back to Morsey and Matthews and you know, all the rest of those, couldn't you? Um, but we weren't going that far back. Uh, Jamie Davis says Blackpool will stay up and I think Cardiff City and Rotherham United and Stoke City will go down and Morgan Rogers is a good signing. Uh, Adam Varley seems to think we need Holloway back. I don't think we do, if I'm being honest. I don't think it would work. I think he's, uh, yes, indeed, muted. Yes, indeed. 
Um, uh, Mark Bryan, uh, William says, Mickey boy, great call. Absolutely. Uh, Gareth Gerrard remembers going to Darlington away and pool winning 4-0 with Stuart and O'Keefe on fire. Oh, God, don't we all? <laughs> yeah, I was I was there. That was the night we got promotion from the, um, you know, from League 2 into League 1, wasn't it? Um, and from the 4th to the 3rd. Uh, Friday, Friday night, if I remember it was, wasn't it? Friday, and we were all singing for Sam Ellis to come out of the dressing room and we wouldn't leave the ground for, like, I don't know, we were chanting his name for about half an hour and the police brought him back out so we could all chant his name and then we all went. It was a fantastic night. It was an unbelievable night. Right, well, that's it. I think we've done it all. I think, um, you know, we all know what we need, don't we? But I, I think things are looking better. Uh, I'm not taking any more calls now. Thank you very much for ringing in. But I'm, I'm, And if you're a private number, I certainly will answer you. So there's no chance on that one, sorry. You need to have your phone number displayed. If I can just see private number, I won't answer. Well, thank you very much. Um, it's um, It's been great. Um, it's a great day. I think it's a start. I think we need more. I've said it all along. I think we need that. I think we all know we need an experienced centre-half and a midfielder who, um, with experience who can drive the ball forward and help these young kids out. And I think if we get that, with what we've got now, with you know, with additions of two two wingers that he's brought in, no longer playing Lavery on on the wing, which I just think is pointless. I don't think he's a winger. Um, I think we're going to be okay. I really do. I've 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 got I've got hope again. They say it's the hope that kills you, but uh, no, I I have got hope again. So uh, let me just go to to here. I'll just see if there's any more. Just just go to the last comments. Just have a look. Uh, so I've not missed anybody. Uh, Steve Hutchins says, thanks. Oh, okay. Jamie Day says, Blackpool will stay up. And I think Cardiff City and Rotherham United and Stoke City will go down. That is uh, controversial, isn't it? Do you think Stoke, they are they are slipping back into it, Stoke, aren't they? Um, not playing really well, which is a surprise because they're Nick Sunderland's manager. I thought they were going to go on, but they haven't. So, yeah. Um, Cardiff City, they're, they're in a mess, aren't they? Rotherham are on the slide again, aren't they? They looked, I mean, they smashed us, didn't they, at Rotherham, but they've gone off the boil a bit. We we could do with beating Rotherham. Um, right, I think that's it. Uh, let's look on Facebook. Um, yeah, Neil Bean says, Holloway, I feel when he left Grimsby, he had finished with management. I think so as well. He had a bad experience there. And I don't think it would be popular. It, it, it would, I liked him and I, I would welcome him back, but you know, do we want another manager that's already been here and done all that? I, I, I don't think we do, to be honest. So um, I'm going to see you all uh, later. Uh, to, as I said, I won't answer private numbers. I'm afraid if you if your phone is a private number, I will I will not answer you. I'm afraid. So uh, let's go to the sound. I'm going to see you all. Um, I'll see you all. I'm going to obviously the FA Cup game. Uh, hopefully, win or not. We'll be there, and uh, we're all going to Watford, aren't we? Everybody's going to Watford. How many fans are going to be going to Watford? It's exciting times. Um, so I will uh, see you all later. I'll change, change that. Left of last night behind And I need to get some peace of mind And when I need some peace of mind I, I know where to find it there. By the end of the road
Till my feet are hurting And I need to keep on going further Cause I can't keep my mind off things I'd be better off to leave behind Gotta be careful Not to get stuck And so I walk And I keep on walking 